When you think of bagpipes, a foggy Scottish moor may come to mind, and you may have strong feelings about the instrument. But however you feel, John Goff is here to talk about an upcoming bagpipe swap meet. Welcome, John. Hey. Okay, so what is the draw to the bagpipe for you? Well, um, my grandmother was from Scotland, and so when I was looking for an instrument when I was young, I just decided to play bagpipes, and it was... Uh, my mom helped me find an instructor, so I started playing and playing in bands, yeah. And then here you are. I know, yeah. <laughs> okay, so the bagpipe swap meet is coming up on November 20th. It's at the Milwaukee Grange. So talk about the event, why you're holding it. So I'm holding it because uh, as a bagpiper, one uh, accumulates quite a bit of attire, <laughs> bagpipe parts and all that. And so I thought how fun it would be since coming out of the pandemic, we could sort of have just a nice like big sort of almost party where it's going to be a bagpipe swap meet but there's going to be a couple performers for the general public a gentleman named Michael Babinski and another guy named Preston Howard so they'll be playing and um, people can just talk and look at pipes and if they want to buy or sell or what have you extra clothing attire yeah th those are the two guest performers you mentioned right I did they'll yeah. be there to, they, to play yeah. and yeah. I don't know, give lessons. Are lessons easy to come by these days? They are a bit, you know, especially now with Zoom. It's easy enough to, uh, you know, yeah. figure stuff out. But yeah, they'll be playing and yeah, the general public's encouraged to come. There'll be uh, a gentleman from the uh, all British field meet at the Portland Raceway and he's gonna be having one of his vintage British cars there in the parking lot. Okay, I was gonna ask you about your collaboration with the Raceway. Tell us more about that. Yeah, so I play there every year and have become good friends with uh, one of the gentlemen associated with it. And I thought, hey, how great would it be to have, you know, it's kind of a small, intimate parking lot, so at least have one or two of their cars and they can talk about the British field meet. I mean, they always have these very nice, like, Range Rovers and Mini Coopers and all that, very period-specific, perfectly, you know, put yeah. together cars, yeah. Very cool. So what are you most looking forward to about the swap meet? Like, is there something that you want to add to your collection that you're really hoping someone will bring? Well, it's funny, um, I just <laughs> bought a bag today, so not I was now. like, his, John's <laughs> wife is here and she's watching. And I, when I, as I was asking that, I was like, hmm, what, let's ask Nicole what yeah. she thinks. <laughs> no, I've, I've bought enough bagpipes over the years. So this will actually be good for me to sell a bunch. But there's going to be some people bringing some very rare sets. Uh, a friend of mine, Ken Jones, has some an amazing collection of a, a pipe maker named Hamish Moore. And he might show up with some really extremely rare uh, bagpipe parts. These aren't Highland pipes he has. He has uh, what's called small pipes, but they're, he'll have that and just other people bringing rare sets to just, you know, to look at them or whatever, yeah. So I didn't really know that bagpiping was such a, like a lifestyle. Like you say, you collect things. Uh, oh, I yeah. don't know, talk about that a little bit. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's kind of <laughs> like vintage cars. I mean, this part here is uh, called a chanter. And I think I have maybe it's the it's the melodic part here. I probably have six or seven of them. I you know I just so you know okay they, yeah they all kind of have specific uh, uh, tonality they're in or not tonality but basically the bass frequency. Anyway, it's yeah. no no yeah. this is great. I because I know nothing. I'm not musical. Period. So like I know nothing about the back. Sure sure. So the on the screen you'll see uh, Channer by a gentleman named Keith Jeffers and that's the melodic part when you hear a bagpipe playing. So that part is then um, uh, uh, has this additional part which are drones and these are droning A on this. Okay. So when I blow in there's a reverse valve that kicks in as the bag inflates okay. keeping the air in it. Then I press on the bag in order to maintain the pressure. And then that's coming out to here. This is a double read, and these are all single reads. All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get all that at home? <laughs> um, so, okay, you told us about how you got started. Is this your full time job now? It is, Great. yes. I play um, full time by trade as a prof I'm actually playing at Willamette National after this. Okay, so yeah, yeah you play um, on funerals, it sounds yeah. like, but also yeah. parties, weddings, everything. Yeah, yeah. 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 I play graduations, I play a uh, number of university, Pacific University, and 
uh, you know, uh, read college, what have you. Yeah. Very cool. And yeah. I'm, he had to warm up the bag. I like knew that was a thing, but I didn't know what that involved or anything. So these are cane reeds and the reeds, as you stop playing them, become flatter and flatter. So what happens is, is the more you maintain the, the heat of playing it, it sharpens. So I have to basically play them pretty regularly in order to keep them tonally correct, or at least as close as you can get. Yeah. Great, I'm learning so much, John, thank you. Um, okay, tell us again um, where the swap meet's going sure, to be, all that sure. information. So the swap meet's at the Milwaukee Grange in Island Station. It's uh, November 20th from 11 to four. Parking is on 21st, uh, so it's on the other side. You come in on 22nd Avenue. And yeah, it's gonna be, there's gonna be tea and cookies and you know, Car vintage cars, vintage lots cars. of fun stuff. Yeah, lots of fun way. stuff. Yeah. Very yeah. cool. All right. Well, John, you warmed it up for us. So play us to break, if you will.